Hello, my name is Gareth Thomas and I'm going to show you uh, something that I find really useful when I'm looking at data and I'm trying to analyze it and group it uh, for people when they need the data grouped into um, nice buckets. You can use it for bucketing and uh, analysis and stuff like that. So just going to create some sample data here. So let's just call it um, days elapsed and this could be part of a, a data range or part of a table which has got formulas calculated um, to give you a number of days difference and I'm just going to create some uh, some uh, random data between 1 and 200 days say okay so there's my data I'm just going to hard code that I copy and paste as values and what I'm trying to do is um, <clears throat> I'm trying to group that into certain buckets so I'll have my uh, group table and let's say it's from 1 to 1 to 20 uh, 21 to 50 51 to to 100, uh, 101 to 150, and let's say 150 or greater than greater than 150 or 150 plus. So that's what we want, uh, and we want that data in here under let's just say buckets, but you can call it whatever you need to call it. What you need to do is put the first number of the range in the column just to the left, like I'm doing here 51, 101, 150, make that 151. There we are. So 151 or greater. And then what I like to do is just name that range and I'll call that groupings and then we just need a VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP ugh, equals v, done it again too quick equals VLOOKUP and then highlight the number put the name in groupings uh, the offset to and then the crucial thing is to put a one not a zero normally we look we go for exact match this time we want a uh, a uh, close match and then hit enter and if you copy that all the way down and we can put this into order so it's easy to see and test now you can see that 17 falls in the bucket 1 to 20, 20 is 1 to 20, 21 to 21 to 50, 72, 51 to 100, 164, greater than 151, yeah, 102, 115, yeah, that's all working. So now you can see whatever the days elapsed is that you um, have from your codes, from your other fields, you can now put it into nice buckets which you can then add a filter to and you can filter it on the key buckets or you can use it in pillar tables so I found that very useful and I hope you do too thank you